Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Finally, 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 the Mongoose Outrider set is beginning to release. For a little bit there, everybody was kind of starting to think maybe it was canceled because there was just such a huge amount of radio silence about this set. All the Amazon pre-orders were getting canceled and it was kind of looking like maybe we were seeing this set just fade away into oblivion. But something very, very odd happened. Australia got this set first. There hasn't been Mega on store shelves in Australia for a long, long time. I don't know exactly how long, but I know it's been a long time. I think even longer than the UK. And just out of the blue, a store called Big W in Australia was just like, guess what? There's Mega on the shelves now. And they have a pretty decent selection. And this was one of the sets there. So as of the time of the recording of this video, this set is not available for the rest of the world. Only Australia has it. So, to get this, um, I was actually helped out by All Things Halo. You guys might remember him. I did a collab with him a while back where I sent him a uh, Mega Construct set. He sent me some Jazzwares stuff, and we kind of reviewed those. So, he actually got this set, and he was the first person to get a review out. He was really the first good look at this set in general, because we haven't really seen much at all. Aside from those few random pictures of the figures from those Chinese resellers. So his video was like the first good look. And he hooked me up with this set. He sent it to me. And I don't have the box because it was, you know, to keep shipping costs down. But huge thank you to him. I will put the link in the description and in the pinned comment. You can go check out his channel. And I will also put the link to his review. Definitely go check it out. It's, yeah, it's well worth checking out. Like I said, it was the first real look at this set that we had gotten at all. So pause the video, go check that out. Again, huge, huge thank you to him because I've been kind of at a loss of how to even get this set. Um, I was talking to actually, I think it was Kevin, asking him what had happened, why the set wasn't releasing, hadn't heard anything. I was just, yeah, I'm really at a loss of how to even get a hold of it for review so massive shout out massive thank you to all things halo guys definitely go check out his channel and let's let's take a look at this so like i said i don't have the box however all things halo did provide me with a bunch of really high quality images so here they are you can see the box is that normal kind of four figure pack size uh it also is the same size as like the wombat and it's fairly standard it's got the new mega design i think it looks pretty good overall the odd thing that i noticed was and it's actually on the instructions here too they have the yoroi labeled spartan kabuto which is odd because the kabuto is just the helmet so that's, a, I don't know, that's a little weird. I don't know why they would do that unless, I don't know, are they planning to also do the yokai helmet on this base? I kind of doubt that. Like, I doubt that a lot, but I don't know. That's possible, I guess. I have a feeling it was just one of those odd, uh, just almost mistypings. I don't know. But that's really the only odd thing I notice about it. And also... Um, this is not really an odd thing. It's just the renders make the mongoose look very bright. The, the green is very, very bright. Whereas in reality, it's just kind of a nice sand green. So I'm, I'm actually really happy to see that. The instructions are for some reason, one of these like Santa Claus list type things, which is odd. You can see the figures in there. Um, yeah, nothing huge to note. It is a two-in-one set. I think the two-in-one build looks kind of dumb, not gonna lie. No offense to the designers, but it it's a very brightly colored mortar cannon. It just looks weird. And also, the instructions, um, ha like the instruction site has been 
not working real great. It's kind of off and on not working. So I don't know if I will be building that, but let's go ahead and open these. There's only two bags and this looks like it was before they started doing the oatmeal, uh, like oatmeal cardboard bags. So it's all plastic. Got our tires. Yeah, the sand green is way less offensive looking. Because like on the, look at that. On the package, it looks like a bright, like almost lime, pale lime green. I was not really excited for the mongoose itself uh, because of that. It's a coating too. I don't remember the name of the coating. Something citrus or something like that. I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me. But yeah, I was not excited for the mongoose for that reason. It just looked too bright. But I think I'm okay with this so far. And there is something we can't forget to look at about the mongoose, which I'll get to later. Anubis looking sharp. Like, really sharp. Wow. Okay, yeah, I, I need not get sidetracked by the figures. We will... We will look at the figures, but not yet. We just need to get them out, but dang. Oh, they asked, whoa, his head just went flying. They almost fully assembled him, but they did leave his helmet or his head off. His helmet's also coming off. Ooh. I'm, I'm literally getting so distracted by these figures. They look so nice. Oh, whoops as I rip them apart. Okay. Oh, what? I thought I had stuck him down. Stand up, buddy. We have a brute, probably the, uh, the least flashy of all the figures, but wait, a huh? Whoa, I'm confused. What the heck is going on here? He has the Uroi forearms. And it looks like our Uroi does not have the Uroi forearms. He has the Halo Reach forearms, like the Mark 7 forearms. What? The renders show him with the Uroi forearms. Wait, let me find the parts checklist again. Let's take a look at the figures. What does it show him with? Yeah, it shows him with the Uroi forearms. Okay, that's odd. I'm gonna have to look back at uh, All Things Halo's video to see if his also has that. But Uroi is looking good. It's just a little weird that there's a disrepancy. It's not the first time that we've had a disrepancy like that. Okay. Uh, oh, also, here is a scrap cannon. The scrap cannon comes in two pieces like this. I still do not understand why Mega went out of their way to make it in two pieces, but they did. And you can just kind of pop it together like that. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and get this built and we will take a closer look. Alrighty, the set is all put together. Quick, easy build. I mean, it's just the same mongoose design that we've seen multiple times before. So for some of you, I'm looking at all of you guys who have bought like a hundred of the recon getaways. You could probably build this in your sleep. So nothing amazing in terms of the build. Um, I did do a couple quick Google searches and I found out that this is the citrus ink mongoose coating. So, interesting. Uh, I got the citrus part, right? We do get a brick separator. I have so many of these. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't even really know what to do with them. Honestly, I would prefer if Mega kept these to the larger sets because what are you really going to use a brick separator for on this little one? But that's really just my own thing just because I have so many. And not everybody will have quite so many. So let's go ahead, jump in, look at the figures, because that's really what this set's all about. And let's start with this Elite Ultra. So 
it's been a little bit since we got an Elite Ultra. Mega, for a little while there, was like, Ultra, 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 Ultra. We got that white one. We got the silver Halo Heroes one. We got the blue Diamond Armor one from the blind bags. We got the darker one from the blind bags. And then they just kind of stopped. And we didn't see any for a while. And now we have this guy. And Mega's really been liking this gold lately. This is like the third figure, third enemy figure that they made in gold which is pretty cool. Honestly, I'm not complaining because it looks pretty snazzy. So I wanted to bring in the other gold figures. There is the Elite Warlord from the Scorpion and also the Brute Chieftain from the Banished Garrison pack. I think they all look really cool together. Uh, making a little squad of the Elites. Like, adding a couple Ultras to go along with the Warlord. I think that's pretty cool. They match very nicely. Now, there's something odd, and I'm sure some of you guys will have noticed it already. Look at his hands. They are, once again, the normal hands. Also, it wobbles a little bit, which is annoying. It's not the worst I've seen it, but... Yeah, that is normal hands. Unlike most of the Elites, which have been using these hands the box and instructions showed this and everybody was hoping that it was just a render error but it's not for some reason they've gone back to using these hands and i don't know why it's very odd to me uh consistency wise that's not great and i don't know it's just weird i don't understand I will say, though, so far it seems like uh, the hands' tolerance are very good. You guys may have remembered me pointing out that lately a, uh, a lot of the hands will kind of just hold the weapon loosely and not really click to it. These click real well. They feel really nice. So hopefully whatever issues um, were causing that, they've fixed. This guy comes armed with a pulse carbine. Unpainted, but it looks pretty nice. It's a pretty good looking weapon. I feel like maybe they could have made it a little thicker, but maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, it looks pretty good. And the rest of the figure looks pretty fantastic. He has a fairly loose waist. That's not super uncommon, but it's a little annoying. Something I will have to fix. But... Overall, not bad. His head looks pretty nice. He's got the print on the top. Blue eyes. Yeah, and the rest of him is just an ultra like we've seen before, but in gold, which is pretty cool. I just really, really do not understand why they went back to the other hands. Next up is our Brute figure. I believe this is just a Brute Miner. And he matches the Brute from the Gungoose Gambit. So you could build yourself a troop of blue brutes. Whoa, what is happening? Is he... I don't know what's happening. He doesn't appear to be popped together all the way. How did I miss that? <laughs> I guess I've had him that way since I reviewed the Gungoose Gambit. Whoops. But yeah, you could build yourself a troop of these guys. You could pop and swap some parts. You know, give the helmets a swap. I actually really like that. That looks super cool. And that looks more appropriate for a Brute Miner. But yeah, that's a good bit of compatibility there. The shoulders are the same new Brute shoulders. Uh, the forearms are blue Uroi forearms. Why Mega used the Uroi forearms? I have no clue. But they did. And it's in blue. So that's a thing now. The Brute hands are the same three-fingered Brute hands that we've been getting, which is good. The chest plate is like the, the Chieftain chest plate. You see, printed up in blue, looking nice. Around the back there is no print, but I think that's fine. This is just a set figure after all. I'm surprised they didn't just mold the whole piece in blue. And his weapon is the scrap cannon. No print on it, but it looks pretty good. It's a little difficult to pose it. A lot of Mega's two-handed weapons, like the rocket launchers or the... Um, chain guns are just a little difficult to pose with but you have a little peg hole in the bottom it's a pretty nice weapon to get 
And the rest of him is pretty standard for a banished brute who got the newer leg piece on both sides and the fixed brute feet that can actually fit with the studs. And then, of course, good old Craig under there looking as derpy as always. I have noticed that with these brute hands, they tend to stick out a bit from the wrist, but they don't really wobble. That's just kind of how they are. They look a little odd. And it looks like this plastic does show stress marks as you clip stuff in and out. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a problem because sometimes plastic will just show stress marks and not really have any problems. Like my um, two pack Arbiter, the really shiny one, he's got stress marks in his hands and it really hasn't caused any trouble. This hand is slightly smaller than usual so like when you click it onto stuff, it holds, but it does feel like it wants to pop off a little easier. But that looks like I can look at that and see it's been a little bit molded weird, but it's really not a bad problem. So far, quality control has been decently tight, just minor, minor issues for these guys. Uh, no, no pun intended. But yeah, this is a pretty nice figure. This is one I wouldn't mind getting like four or five of at least. You could easily amass them. And then, of course, you get the new weapon along with him, which is pretty nice. Here is what people have been most excited for, as far as I can tell. The Silver Uroi, or the Kabuto, as Mega is calling it. So this is super weird. I don't understand why they made the Uroi forearms, showed it on the box, gave it to the Brute, and then did not give it to the Uroi himself. I just don't understand. I mean, it doesn't look bad. But it's just weird. I don't understand it. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's one of those weird inconsistencies again. But I was really looking forward to seeing the Uroi in silver. The red one was okay, but it had some translucency issues, which I still would like to see if I can fix. But this color is a lot nicer. There's no printed detail on there. It's just the molded detail, aside from the visor. But I... I think it looks pretty nice. Obviously, you could paint on some gold yourself or something, and I think that would look sick. I might try doing that if I can get a second one of these sets eventually. But for now, just straight out of the package, it looks pretty nice. I gotta say. See around the back, there's a little bit of a color difference between the harder armor pieces and the rubbery skirt piece. But it's not horrible. It's just a little more dull. You can see the new leg pieces. He comes armed with a Ravager, which looks pretty cool. I know people don't like it in multiplayer, but as a mega piece, it looks pretty slick. And the blade on the end is a nice jabbing weapon. And I really actually want to get in close to see that, that helmet. There we go. Now you can really see the visor. And it looks pretty nice. There's not really overspill that much like the edges might be a little rough but not bad and the green pops pretty nicely against the silver it just looks pretty good the only thing about the head that i have a complaint about is this like excess plastic making the uh head a funny shape so you can kind of see the molding didn't get trimmed properly but other than that that's pretty good you can see the chest plate better. See those forearms that are not the Uroi forearms? That's what a Uroi forearm looks like. That's just a Reach forearm or a Mark 7 forearm. You see those new shoulders though. Overall, it's a very nice looking figure and I love this silver. I did expect this guy to be my favorite. It was the one I was looking forward to the most. The other Spartan was just going to be a bonus, but, and I think All Things Halo said the same thing. I was surprised. So let's go look at the other, uh, the other Spartan because I think we're in for a treat. Like I said, the Uroi had pretty much all of my attention and this guy was like, oh yeah, he looks kind of cool. You know, interesting enough, nice extra Spartan, but this dude looks so cool. So I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be the scorpion punch coating, but for some reason Mega, so the first time they did the scorpion punch coating, they got it wrong by making the head 
entirely red instead of giving it a red stripe. So then they had another go at it, and not only did they not get the red stripe on the head, but they also messed up the color and gave him an orange arm. So somebody can tell me in the comments whether or not um, there's another coating that this is supposed to be, but it sure looks like Scorpion Punch to me. And for some reason, they gave him an orange arm and no stripe on the head. Not really sure why they can't get this simple coating correct. However, it looks super cool. Also, the orange does match the orange from the um, new, what was that, the Decisive Engagement. So you could pop that on if you wanted to. I don't know why you would because this Anubis helmet is so nice. It's got a very Spec Ops look. Purple visor, which is something we like never see, ever. That is so cool. It's printed so well. Oh, it just, mm, yes. And then we have this new chest plate. There's no print on it, but I don't really think it needs any. There's enough print on the Anubis head and like the low contrast between the undersuit and the chest plate works out pretty well. Honestly, all gray would be pretty cool. We got those big square shoulders and like I said, orange arm. Not really sure why it's orange and not red but it is, we have a Master Chief lower leg in gray, more gray armor, gray Mark 7 waist unit. Unfortunately, you don't get two of these lower legs. However, you do get a prosthetic leg, which I am way, way more on board with having Mega do prosthetic legs than prosthetic arms because the leg actually moves like a normal leg and it looks pretty cool too. I would say that this is a little bright, this uh, color, usually, I think in Halo, the prosthetics are more of a dull gray. However, I think they did that because if they did kind of a dull silvery gray, then it would not stand out as much and not contrast as much with the armor. So I'm okay with it. I think this might be a Terminator leg, or if it's not a Terminator leg, it's from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. I actually think it's from the Ninja Turtles line. So it's not a new piece, but it works very well for the Halo Infinite cybernetic leg. So that's pretty cool. And then this dude comes armed with the new sidekick pistol. Looking really good. So much better than the first one. Yeah, this is just an absolutely, like, this is a banger of a figure. And I really was not expecting that. I thought this was just going to be another generic Spartan to fight alongside the Uroi. But no, I would say that this guy is the star of the show. The Uroi can take a back seat. This dude looks almost Halo Heroes quality. He would need a little more print for that, but he's almost there. Yeah, I am on board with this, even though it's not quite an accurate depiction of Scorpion Punch. And here is the Citrus Ink Mongoose. Pretty normal. You guys have seen this Mongoose design already. Only differences here are the colors. It's got the suspension. I still am waiting for them to update the steering because this is not really a great way for the figures to hold. It's just too straight. It really needs to be curved slightly for them to hang on properly. So I really would like them to do that. Mega, if you ever see this, please update those handles. They don't work very well. But just for comparison, there is the Gungoose Gambit. Gungoose and the Recon Getaway mongoose so you can see all the same design just different colors so that's pretty cool so that's about it for the mongoose or it would be about it except mega did something a little bit sneaky here if you got the decisive engagement and bizarre battleground sets you will have gotten these little chunks of stuff this little gun and this little thing here so what you can do is you take the pieces off of here and use this to make yourself a new mongoose or maybe a gun goose because you have the guns here. And I don't think that they actually gave any instructions. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and wing this here, figure out how to make all these pieces fit. I don't know if it's like you can make a mongoose with this and then a gun goose with that. Cause like basically, Hang on. Get off. Maybe I do need my brick separator. Yep. Okay. 
I take back everything I said about the brick separator. Okay, so for the, the gun goose, you could just turn, well, maybe not. Huh, so there's the guns, which we can, if I can get the guns out. Oh my word, those are really stuck in there. So I'm confused here because we need this smooth piece to be able to make a gun goose. And I don't think they gave us that piece. So are they just expecting us to throw the guns on top like that? Which I guess it could work. It just doesn't sit down as far. Okay. See, this is why... Oh, my word. Wow, those are really stuck. Maybe we won't be making a gun goose at all. So, let's take these off. Take a bunch of stuff off here. This needs to come off. Actually, a lot of the front needs to come off. We are going to essentially remake the entire front. Hmm. You know, as I'm, I'm doing this, I probably should have filmed the outro for this video first because now I'm going to have to undo all of this in a minute. So, wow, this piece is sticking. Yeah, I guess hmm, that's not working either. Of course, trying to do this on camera makes it so much more difficult. Oh, the pieces are sticking very, very hard. Mega's pieces seem to have been doing that more lately, which in some ways is good, and in other ways it's not. Okay, so... We have... This. I don't know if we're supposed to use any of the silver pieces again, because... Hmm. So I guess I guess we'll just go with this. And I probably should have paid attention more to what I was doing, but I need the instructions. See, this is why I was saying some instructions for how to do this would have been very nice. But we'll figure it out. So do that. These printed pieces look so cool. Okay, like so, and then we will take the green one from here because I'm pretty sure they're supposed to work in tandem. And we're going to pretend like they are. So we're gonna use the green here and we're gonna put the silver here. And then we're going to do... Oh, we do need another... Hmm, we could use the silver or we could use the green Probably the green, because I think we need the silver in the middle anyway. But I think I might put the tan there. It definitely seems like maybe they were trying to leave you some room. Now watch, there will be like instructions online on the Mega Constructs website. And I just didn't pay attention. That would happen. But I'm pretty darn sure there's not. Okay, so we have that. And then we're going to put these on my camera decided to die on me middle of building this it always dies at like the most inopportune times i guess always is the most inopportune time because i'm always using it when it dies okay let's get that on there and then we have this as the front then we need to replace the back piece here with wait, no i need that give me that uh, like so. Is that it? I I don't know what these pieces would be for. I don't know where we would put these. I guess those maybe are just extras. Hmm. I feel like... Is that really it? I feel like it needs more tan at the back or something I mean that looks pretty cool but I feel like it is that really it did, did I do it 
See, this is why I wish they would have done some sort of instructions. And I'm really stumped with these. That one came out. Put this. Oh, gosh. These aren't going to come off easily, are they? So we have that. And, I mean, we can do that. It just... Oh, my. Oh, this is the one that's hard. Oh. Okay, I got it. Wow, that was really, really stuck. I'm a little bit afraid what's going to happen when I stick this on. Okay, can we get it back in? Okay, not too bad. So, yeah, we can do that. That sticks up too much. That looks kind of ugly, not going to lie. So, what can we do instead? Gosh darn it, Mega. Why couldn't you have just given us some instructions for this or something? Something to give us a hint of what the heck we're supposed to do. The only thing I can think to do is take off this middle piece here and then basically just fudge it by doing that. These things are so rolly. So do this, fudge it a bit. There's my handles and then pop. Well, no, that doesn't even work. They can't quite fit. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of stumped here. See, so you could do that or would it look better with more green like that? No, more tan definitely is the way to go. I guess that's it. I don't, I have no clue what you're supposed to do with this. Like the rest of these pieces seem kind of pointless. There's really no way to make this into a gun goose without it looking stupid. Like that's not good. That's not how the gun gooses are built. Confusing to say the least, but I will say camo mongoose looks kind of cool. I am liking it. It, could have used maybe a little bit more tan in the back, but it's not its not too bad. I think that's pretty cool. That's just weird. I'm, yeah, confusing process overall, and there's kind of too much wiggle room in terms of what you can do. They give you all these pieces like these. Like, what are you supposed to do with these? Are they really just there for, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm confused. So I did a quick search to try and find where the heck Mega was telling us how to use these. And I had totally forgotten. They kind of gave us one single image on the back of the uh, Bizarre Battleground and Decisive Engagement instructions to tell us how to do this. And kind of as I suspected, the two assemblies are meant to be used separately. So all the camo stuff is made for just making a camo mongoose and then the little turret thing is made so that you can make a gun goose you still don't use these or any of this but this is what you're supposed to do as best as i can tell the image was not super descriptive so that's not the worst but it's also still kind of ugly because the guns are sticking way forward you can kind of see it looks kind of like an afterthought not gonna lie they're just moved forward and it looks kind of awkward. It's not horrible and it works. It's better than the other option, but the other option meaning like sticking them on top. Yeah, that's not amazing. I will say that the camo, uh, camo goose idea is a lot better and works better overall. But yeah, this is not terrible. Basically what you do is you just use this assembly and then instead of the silver here you use the green or at least that's what i was guessing oh my gosh it sticks so hard Ugh. how do i get it off yeah so you just do that and then to put it back to normal you just kind of swap the pieces this one's not a huge huge swap you just kind of do this do that, line it up, and put the handlebars back on, and you have 
the citrus ink. <clears throat> citrus ink, once again. And then you have this little pile of parts and this little pile of parts, and you can choose which one you want to use. Well, there you have it. That is the Mongoose Outrider set. Such a weird set, I gotta say. Not really, like, in terms of the content. I mean, the content's a little odd, but just the fact that this has been such an elusive thing to the point where we thought it was going to be cancelled, and they popped up in Australia of all places, and the rest of the world hasn't seen it. Not even California and Frankensons has seen this set, which is crazy. And then the fact that they went back and they used the human hands for the elite again, and the Uroi has the wrong forearms, and all the weirdness with trying to figure out how to use all those extra pieces. It's just been odd. It's just been such an odd set. I really thought this was just going to be another standard release, you know, four figure pack. You know, it comes out, people get it, people stop talking about it after a little while, but no, it's been quite a ride trying to find and understand the set as a whole though i do really like it quality control feels fairly tight there's a few little things the brute's hand has a little bit of a hard time clipping the elite has a loose waist slightly wobbly hand the Roy had that little excess bit of plastic on his head this guy i don't really have any complaints with him at all and he's really the star of the show like i was shocked that he was so good yeah, he has the wrong color arm. That's really not the color Scorpion Punch should be. But it's really cool anyway. And I'm personally very surprised that it beat out the Uroi. But it did. It's just such a good figure. The Uroi is such a good figure too. And honestly, both of these enemy figures are fantastic. And ones that I would love to get more of. Um, like I said, I would like to get another one of these. Eventually, do a dust it off, adding some detail to the Silver Dude. Um, yeah, overall, it's pretty darn good. Now, Mega, we just need it for the rest of the world. It'd be nice if this was more places than just Australia. I am really happy to see that there are sets showing up in Australia now because that's a step in the right direction in terms of distribution. It's just weird that, you know, this set is there before the rest of the world and the rest of the world hasn't even heard hint of this being anywhere only rumor i heard was i think halo bricks was telling me he had somebody tell him that he had the set and sold it for like 50 dollars, but wouldn't provide any pictures so other than that there was nothing so yeah very weird i don't understand some of the choices like the hands but overall i'm really happy with this it's a lot cooler than i was expecting even the uh mongoose the citrus ink coating is pretty cool looking. I like how the orange kind of matches the the arm, which maybe that's why they did it, even though it doesn't make sense. And the green looks a lot nicer. And the camo option is pretty nice too, although the color balancing is a little off. But I do like the color of the mongoose a heck of a lot more than I thought I would. It doesn't look bad. Like, I don't know. It, it's pretty nice. So yeah, huge, huge thank you again to All Things Halo for sending this to me without his help this video would not have happened for who knows how long so huge thank you to him go check out his channel the links will be in the description in the pinned comment you can check out his review for this set you can check out his channel i highly recommend you go uh go give it a watch go give some of his other videos a watch he's got a pretty cool style and i highly recommend you go check it out Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.